Uh, this opportunity to say a very good afternoon to your cherished uh, viewers. Um, yeah, to your question, CFF, it is against the uh, E-Levy. We are not pushing for any percentage reduction. Why? Because if you look at our statement, we were so clear, we were emphatic, that government need to do some other things in place of the e levy mm. because government is there to serve the interests of the Ghanaian people. So if the Ghanaian people, you, have, you brought a proposal on the table and they are telling you that the proposal, it is not in their interest, the best thing to do is to go back, look at the issues and where the options are available. There are other options that are available that government can, can um, em, employ or utilize okay. to make sure that the, the, the national revenues are mobilized mm. for the, the development of the country. Let, let's take for instance, the Auditor General made it clear in their report that 2 billion end up, ends up in private pockets through corruption. And we are saying that this e levy is going to give us 7 billion in a, in a year for infrastructure or development of the nation. Why can't you recover or put measures in place to recover the stolen monies? Those are the things that we have to do. The e levy, if you go to the street, you can take your cameras to the street of Ghana. You will see that the people, the, 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 the citizens, the poor citizens, the vulnerable, they are not interested in it. So government must pay heed to what the citizens are saying because they are there to save the interest of the citizens. Mm. Richard, thank you. We're grateful for your time with us.